Hello, my cheese tastic owl. <laughs> That's lit. Okay, okay. I'm back with another video, and this video is going to be on Chalet, a map that I have not yet done on my channel for some strange reason. But again, this is going to be five solo spots, and I had some pretty cool spots that I could have put that required more than one person, but. Custom games won't allow more than one person if you have strict not type now, which is terrible, but for this first spot you just want to punch out those barri the barricades like you saw me. Now I got this idea from Quility, he does some quality glitches, but you want to punch this one and punch this one and sprint and hopefully you'll land here instead of landing off the edge. But you can see outside, you can see, um, <coughs> you can see into the objective, but if you see, that's how I placed my shield. Now you can see into the objective, it is pretty nice. Now, if I shoot down this barrier, you could see even more. Now you could also see into the main lobby. So this is, um, very tasty glitch here can see into the bar. You can also see into this hallway. Very nice, but uh, you do not dare look down into the void. Hast she shall die. If she tells it, he shall die. Um, I don't recommend you actually fall down there. Because you, you do die if you fall, but you can see a bit of the hallway down there, and you can see the drone hole. And then you could see basically nothing down there, but I, I guess I'll show you what happens if I run off. Yeah, you just fall. Now, this spot is inside of whatever you would like to call this room, the office. You want to sprint on the shield. Now, there are a couple things that I shot off so that I could run up here. But you just want to crouch and make your way up here. This spot could be semi-useful, so long as nobody actually breaks that window. If people break the door, it'll be useful. And if people come up the stairs, maybe not so much, because you'd probably get shot if some people came up the stairs. But this actually does give you a nice angle right there. You can see just a bit. Um, this next spot's a glitch. Don't use it in multiplayer. So just place your shield right along this line. I'm going to try to move this wood away so you can see. But if you see where the top part of my shield is, it just barely touches the line for the tile. Yeah, it aims right there at the top of my shield. Now, you just want to place the barricade. And once you've done that, break the barricade pieces you see me break. Now if you want to get onto the other side, then just do this on the opposite direction, but um, just sprint, and eventually Tichyanka will bless you with the wall. Like so. You can also get onto the other side, as I was saying. The other side's a lot better and a lot more friendlier, but I've been doing this for about 15 minutes and it's only ever glitched me onto this side, sadly. But um, it is pretty lonely here. It's not as fun as the other side. There's no way out, unless you want to fall into the void and die. But um, this next spot is inside of Master Bedroom. Now what you want to do is come on top of this lamp. Oh, I fall. I don't like falling. Um... Onto the lamp, okay, yeah. Now shoot out of this, under that, and you could run on here. This spot I don't see being so useful unless people come in from the window. But, um, yeah, that's about it. Now I have tried to get onto the little wooden beams up top, but there is an actual barrier that stops you from doing so. That was very saddening for me to witness. But, um, it's about as good as this spot will get. Now, this is the final spot, and I suggest you click off the video now unless you want to see the details of the clan that I'm going to be 
going over at the end. And I just run on there like I did, and that's pretty much this spot. There's like nothing else to do for this but spot, but um, yeah, so that's gonna be it for this video. Now, I am in a clan, which I said about a couple of seconds ago, and I do enjoy being in this clan, which is the whole reason why I am adding this to the video, because now it is required that I recruit people so that I can stay in the clan, because I've been in so long and I haven't recruited a single person for so long. But, um, basically the only requirements is you have to be above the age of 16. No. I was made an exception because I am obviously mature. I'm not really mature, but apparently I am. Now, you just have to be above the age of 16 and you just want to message the Facebook page, which I will link in the description and at the end of the video right now. It should be linked somewhere. But that's going to be the video. Thanks for watching.